dookie braids dookie twist i mean so basically this video is gonna be me doing my micro braids for the first time um i want to do like small ass braids i don't know if i have enough hair though but it's okay because i would just order some more they come in like two days anyway so like i just washed and conditioned my hair um yeah you guys can see my healthy roots so i'm gonna tell you all the hair information where i got it from because i got it from a website i got it from wigtype.com i got the 99j pack i'm gonna show you guys a picture right there um yeah they it was like 30 something dollars but it was 10 dollars for shipping but it did come in two days so i'm not that sad about it and plus like i didn't want to catch anything anywhere like i'm not gonna risk anything to just go out and get some hair and i know you can get it from packages but it's a really low chance versus you going out i'm like gonna set up everything so you guys could have a good view so i can see the back of my head if you guys want to see me do my braids and everything i'll tell you guys everything that i use and everything then keep on watching give this video a thumbs up like i'm sharing subscribe and let's just get started if you want to see how i got from those dookie braids to this beautiful micro braids then keep on watching also follow me on instagram don't forget that hey y'all i wanted to pop in really quickly to tell you guys about this form that me my sister and my friend made it's called encourage auxilium auxilium is help in latin and it's basically a place where you could chat with any of us about whatever you're going through because we know that since this pandemic has come up we are forced to stay inside and quarantine and to be around our family some of us don't have the best relationship with our family members or siblings or whoever's in the house that's why i really a form where you guys could just text us and we'll reply in a couple of hours at most um yeah so if you guys would like to chat with us about how you're feeling and if you're feeling some type of way then you could definitely check out the description box it is completely free that's encourageauxilium.org i know some people do not want to talk to their guidance counselors or teachers like people that the school offered to you because it's like you don't understand me we're all teens here and we all are going through some things so that's why i really wanted to make this website it's completely free again um it's just my way to give it back because people are going through things and i feel for you guys and i'm very fortunate to not really be going through that and i know some people aren't so if you know a friend or you or a family member whoever would need this forum then again that's encourageauxilium.org it is down in the description box um yeah so i think i thought you guys had a good angle i don't want to blow down my hair anymore because i really want to like put no heat on it like for like the rest of the year maybe it's like may something and my school is canceled so i don't want to manipulate my hair in a wrong way like i just don't want to do any of that so back in September, my hair could like grow a little, be healthier. Um, yeah, I'm so happy the last time I did not bleach my roots. I really wanted to go light brown, but I'm really happy that I didn't. FYI, this, this is not a booger. It's, it's a pimple. I hope you guys like the position you're in because it's like new and everything and you guys are kind of far. But I'm so excited. I'm going to do really long, really dark braids and... I'm gonna curl the ends. Parting won't be extremely important because nobody's gonna see it. But I do wanna get like a clean part, you know, because it's gonna bother me. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get my products and I'll be right back. This is the package I received from wigstype.com. I ordered this pack of hair, the K Jumbo hair braiding one. It's a 99J. It's not black, but it's really, really dark burgundy. It's really thin, actually. I thought I would get more hair than this, but apparently not. But whatever this is it i'm gonna stretch the ends so um when you get it it's like kind of like mm, like bra strap waist length like around there but when i stretched it it was like it's like knee length um what is it called uh leg length yeah it's like pretty long after you stretch it as you can see i'm like really pulling it so like like this is such a great method like that's why it doesn't matter how many inches you get like i always stretch it so it could be like extremely long if you know what i mean this corona break for me has just been good for me 
I know it's been hard for some of you guys. I've been able to get a lot of things done. Um, yeah, that I wouldn't have been able to do. Like, if it wasn't for this, I would not have been posting on my YouTube channel. I like a thousand percent will guarantee it. Because this is around finals, like we're getting ready for the regents, like, yeah. Being very nice, we're gonna part the back of our head now. So, yeah. So this is a prime reason why I really wanted to stop, um, what is it called, dyeing my hair, is because the back of my hair started to like fall out, bro. Like, fall out but yeah so i'm using the garnier fructis little leave-in conditioner thing it's ass for like your actual hair but it's not heavy so it's good to put on your hair before braids and stuff kind of mixes with eco it doesn't turn white okay so first step y'all is to part your hair now on camera it looks like i did this in 15 seconds now now I did this in like 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a really long time to part a single freaking section. Like, bro, it's not even funny. So, and then I part a little one. Um, it looks big, but it's like an illusion. It's actually like really, really tiny. But yeah. So now I am taking the hair. Okay. I am splitting the hair into two pieces, right? Actually, never mind. I'm not. I am taking half of the piece and like splitting that in half you know what i mean and then i take the middle part put it on my hair and then go under and under and under and under and under this took me years to learn i used to do the rubber band method and then i learned that like it doesn't work with small braids because you can see the rubber band through it but this is such a great alternative so i didn't use that much hair but i did use 10 packs of hair i ordered 10 packs of hair and i thought that it would be like like not enough but it was the perfect amount bro like the perfect amount i did not need more than 10 packs like i used all of the 10 packs like no pieces left and like i didn't need more hair so yeah not even gonna lie it took me like i think six or seven minutes per braid per braid guys her braid yeah this is not even real time speed because the way i was braiding in the back it's like i've been braiding in like a couple months so i have to take my time unbraid it make sure it's perfect and then like it literally took me six to seven minutes per braid and i bet you there's over like 200 braids in my head like this was a ridiculously long process i started on monday and i ended i think friday night and like I was doing it with a, like a good five hours every single freaking day, bro. Oh my God. That's why I hate doing my braids. So when people be like, yo, you should do other people's hair. I look at them like you must be joking. Like the patience is not there. The patience will never be there. I don't see how people have patience for that. If you do props to you, like bro, like you are a superhero because no way no way so hey guys it is basically like day two i kind of did like a couple rows i'm gonna do this section now basically my school is making us get our stuff from our lockers on friday because you know the school year was basically canceled and trying to remote learning so i'm gonna have to get my stuff with a lot of people with like the beginning of my last name so i'm gonna see a lot of people and i don't want to look like this so i'm gonna finish my hair before friday it is tuesday yeah let's just get started so um that day like the day before this i literally shattered my mirror like you can see my mirror um when i move a little bit you'll see that it's broken so i thought i was cursed for like kind of like a couple hours i had to like quickly research this i was like yo bro am i cursed because i've broken a mirror before and i felt like i was cursed so i was like let me make sure there's no witchcraft going on here but i got hot so i took off my sweatshirt um i'm parting my hair now you see how tiny it is y'all y'all see how tiny this thing is bro i'm looking at that in amazement like wow i really did that um chill on my shoulder acne like bro it's it's complicated right now but I'm using the Neutrogena body wash right now and my shoulder acne has low-key gotten better. So like if you kind of have like back acne or like um, like acne in the front of your chest, like 
tried the Neutrogena body wash. Um, it's pretty good. Like, I've noticed less bumpiness. So, yeah. Um, but I forgot to tell you guys the products that I was using on my hair. So, first up, I was using the Garnier Fruit Teas little thing, right? The green one. And then I used the Equal Styler Gel to really, like, slick down my hair. Because I noticed that since it's not blow-dried, it's going to be really hard to, like, blend the hair with um like my own hair so the equal styler really helped with that um i know it's kind of it's probably bad for your hair but it was either he or that and i'm picking that so i'm braiding oh my god this is like what is this day three day two yeah bro this is not fun this is not fun but our hair can't be breaking off by the time we go back to school y'all that's not gonna happen that will never happen to us period then i started like braiding the side piece that shit kind of hurt it not even gonna lie i did it kind of tight which is bad guys but it was super 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 tiny i thought i did it too tiny but it was like the perfect size that really kind of hurt um for this section i used gel and then i used um style factor edge booster um yeah because if it's the front of your hair you want to use a good edge control so that's definitely recommended So this is a clip of my next video. Um muted for copyright reasons, but yeah. okay so it's the next day i have done so many braids y'all like look at this bro these are so tiny but i know people who would have like split this one in half but like i don't want to braid up my edges because i'm just really not with that like these are gonna come out naturally as like um the days go by i cut up this shirt um I used it in eighth grade um because i was a cheerleader in eighth grade and um i stopped doing that because it wasn't my vibe i got it from jada the jada cheese like she did this to her shirt and i thought it was pretty cute so i did it um it's really tiny like you guys could kind of see it's pretty tiny i'm gonna try to finish with this shit and yeah these are about knee length like literally to my knees these are incredibly long um really proud of myself like i really did all that but i want to finish today like i really want to finish today and call it a day today so yeah we're gonna do that oh my god i'm watching my life as ava right now and like i haven't watched her since like a long time her vibe has changed so much like now she got her natural hair i'm sorry my lips are mad chapped now she has her natural hair and like she lives in hawaii and like near a beach and she's just living her best life yeah like she's glowing she's doing great and i'm just like
I should go eat. What's up, y'all? We're about to finish this section up, finally. I'm gonna come back when like we're up to this part because I can't. Hey guys, it's like day five or something. Like I'm over it. But today's the last day. I wanna finish with this really quickly. Oh, it's actually gonna take me like a while and I can feel it. But I wanna finish with this as fast as I can. So I could just call it a day, you know? Um probably gonna take pictures tomorrow. I wanna be done with this by like sunset. I'm starving. Y'all, yeah, by this point, I was over it. Oh my god, I wanted to finish so badly. It's like later that day, and it took way longer than I ever would have thought. Y'all, when I told you, like, this was one of the most exhausting things I've ever done, bro. And I still had the whole section in the back because I hate doing that section. It's like the thickest part of my hair and the hardest to braid. So I just couldn't. As you can see, I'm like partying and stuff trying my best to stay calm and just do it oh my god thinking about how i felt i was just like i'm done it's over like ugh I finished I'm tired I'm done I'm sorry I, I don't have the energy to close this but I am done I am tired it's so many braids are you guys seeing this it's a lot it's a lot like it's a lot of braids this is gonna take so much energy to flip it these are knee length I can't I, I these are knee length I can't show you my floor because my floor is disgusting but I promise you, I'm going to insert a picture right here of how long they are, like where they arrive me. I want to curl the ends tomorrow. We could like spice it up if I feel like it. But I'm going to insert the clip right now if I do it. But if I don't, yeah. So, yeah, this is like the final view. This was probably one of the most time-consuming things I have ever done. So, basically now, I am... Mm, curling my hair so the water looks dirty because i already started but basically you take um perm rod you curl it around it and then you like fold the bra so it can stay and then you basically put it in hot water um for a it has to be really hot because i learned that once it got a little bit warm it didn't work anymore and the curls were really loose so it has to be like really really hot and then i take it off and then i press it on my towel to get all the water out and then, yeah, you unravel it, and then boom, you got your curl. It still stayed in. Um, it's still pretty curly, and you want to, like, manipulate it to make it, like, the spiral curl. So, so it doesn't look, like, messed up. 
and deformed so that's really all i did and then i just kind of repeated the process and yeah don't mind my mom and my sister in the background it's fine but yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you did watch this video i love you so much y'all don't understand how like i work like 10 hours a day for these and it took me the whole week like this was not easy in any way shape or form it's like some true ass dedication but yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one so that's the final look of the hair that's the curls so it went from knee length to hip length because i curled it and yeah that's literally just the final view i love it so much was it worth it it's questionable but i'm glad i did it um yeah taught me dedication and you know working hard i don't know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye subscribe period